Welcome back, Witches and Wizards. Today we're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play called Fran Bow. Now, I've seen people play this a long time ago. It's been a while since I've seen anyone play it. So I do remember some things. I don't remember others. This is the first time I'm playing this. Um, it's a point and click adventure and it's horror based. So we're going to be playing as a girl called Fran Bo, and this is her. Oh god, her eyes move with the screen. All right, and this is our cat. And uh, there's a few things here, like pills, uh, skulls, bugs, feathers, and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. So I did just, you know, start the intro a little bit, uh, just to make sure that the recording's safe. Like, you know, it's okay. But besides that, it's been several years since I've watched a Let's Play of this. I think it was a, it was Markiplier that I watched the Let's Play of. And this is going to be the first time I'm playing it. So, yes, we're going to start over this. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat! So pretty, so sweet. Dark as the darkest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We're having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going to go out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy, Daddy. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Dear Lord! <laughs> Alright. I wanted to try and make it spooky i didn't want to say anything that wasn't the dialogue but damn girl she's only like about 10 and she just saw her family butchered there was a pentagram and there was a creature outside probably a metaphor i don't know it's like the the centaurs from uh from oxford or whatever it was from uh, alice madness returns so how do we feel i feel like dying 
This this girl's 10 years old. She wakes up being hypnotized at a doctor's office, which kind of looks a little weird. I'm, I'm assuming she's not having a good time, so I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. <laughs> she is probably very upset. My parents are dead. <laughs> recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will be better, I promise. Better? Let me go. <laughs> Better than let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. Rude. She's only 10. She has every right to be upset. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Alrighty, so. As you can see, it's a point-and-click adventure, so let, let's just go. Fran, stop it. Take your aunt's present now. Wait, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me see the back of your address. The door is locked, Fran. Don't even try it. it. It looks like she has straps on the back of her dress. Like like a, a white insanity vest. Alrighty. This was my mother's purse. Oh. Open it. There's something inside. Oh. Uh, okay. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought it would. Uh, I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope. I hope you'll always keep this purse, and give it. Uh, and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Excuse me. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. <laughs> I'm worried too. Uh, she's probably more focused on Aunt Grace. She probably wants to really see her. It's our only family left. Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. I'm tired of all this. I'm tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medication. I don't want to try any more uh, medication. It's called dolt, uh, duotine. Duotine? I'm gonna call it duotine. And it'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, hello. Anything new today, Dr. De uh, Dearn? Nothing. Actually, same visions as before. Ah, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. I don't want to take it, ma'am. Uh, hello? I don't feel good. Well, that's not good. Oh, dear lord! Okay, Fran. And she's out. Oh no, take her back to her room. Uh, no, how about you have an actual doctor look at her? Because I'm starting to question your, clear, uh, your qualifications here, dude. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Uh... You should probably send her to an actual hospital to make sure she's not having a reaction to this. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter one, my sober day. <laughs> Great, you got a kid that's about 10 years old addicted to drugs. <laughs> that's one creepy ass clown. 
Hello? I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. So this is probably symbolized in saying that she's thinking this, not saying it out loud. Okay, let's take this cross down. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's... Uh... I'll get your nose. I'll get it. Are you happy, clown? Can I make you laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. What's in here? Locked. Uh, good reason, uh, reason to get curious. Uh, Frambo da uh, Dagenhart? Ten years- Ah, I was right! Ten years old. Female. Alright, the patient has, was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Darhart, uh, Dagenhard, heart, uh, family tragedy details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Deren, um, had tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Alrighty. A sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before. Huh. She's starting to get angry. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's this? Which dish? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. The pills? I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is af uh, afraid. He told me that the medicine uh, would show me where he is. What's beyond the curtain? So she wants to find the medicine to help escape. Oh. Holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it for <laughs> to play pirates later. Yeah, again, she is a child. Oh. Yeah, she is wearing straps. So, like a straight jacket. Tower defense. We have you to care. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Or is it a defense tower? Huh. I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Huh. Uh, so I guess the eyeballs are... Ah, changing locations. Oh my, a secret box. Shh. Uh, it's open. Okay. Oh, there's a key. This will certainly open something. Maybe like my dresser drawer? Teddy bear. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. I'll talk to that kid in a bit. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. So yeah, again, 10 years old. She doesn't really know much about what's going on. So she's going to rely a lot on her uh, imagination to explain things. You know, she's going to ask a lot of questions and stuff like that. Fillmore Bronstone, eight years old male. The patient came to Oswell Asylum with his mother, Rachel Strom, uh, Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoid, uh, paranoia not yet just diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Mr. Uh, Dr. Marcel Duran. Uh, we have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Uh, documented April. Okay. What was the last one? Uh, in May? If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. Okay, well then sit on the rocking horse. Oh, what did Mr. Horse? You ha are you having a good time? Back and forth. The tips, uh, the, the trips of our lives. Yeehaw. Okay, let's talk to you. You're, uh, Fillmore. Hello, Phil. Hello. Uh, how are you? Everybody says um, that I'm sick. They're just stupid. I have to find my kitty. Bye. You're just paranoid, dude. There's a lot of things to be paranoid about. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office uh, is the key. There's a key inside? 
The key. Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Uh... Who? Who doesn't want to tell me? Him. Oh dear lord, it's you! All doors are closed. You are prisoner of my gates. And nobody will help you escape. Oh great, those are the souls of the damned, aren't they? Leave me alone, I hate you! Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Alrighty. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in his office. Uh, I'm not sick, mother, I'm not. Oh, jeez. Of course it's locked. It's still locked, all right. So let's use the key that we have on the cabinet. Use the kind a tiny t a key on the drawer. Yes, yes, I got it, and there's something inside. Oh no. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Ugh. Oh, there was something else, too. So we've got this. My hair clip. I should give it a, uh, I should give it a good use. Are we gonna pick the lock? Let's check over here. Oh! My legs are just fine. <laughs> I'm not disabled. Jeez. Oh, empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels! Towels! I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of these. Oh! Oh no. Um, not so easy to see through. Is that a playground? Yeah. Maybe someone's already tried jumping through the window. Oh, jeez. Alright, what about this window? Oh, okay. There's a slide. Oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure this playground isn't a good escape route. Oh, you don't know that. Hmm. I like the bunny swingy, uh, swing thingy. Makes me dizzy. Uh, okay. Hello? Can you let me out? I'd like to discharge myself. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Maybe! Uh, if a child goes unconscious because they took medication, should you, you should be taking extra care of them, right? Like, IV drip, uh, making sure that they're healthy, Documenting how long they've been out. <laughs> was it the medication? Was it the medication that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medication. That's why you're not taking it anymore. I did something. Something happened. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You were nothing but trouble. What is it? Rude. Broken curtains. I was trying to look out the window and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally. I'll have it fixed. I have to fix it. Follow me. Uh, I'm curious, but the nurse is still inside the room. Oh. She would just go crazy if I touched anything. I better go and talk to her. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. So she needs to, like, actually leave. Like, this is all one room. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtain up? What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix it. You little girl. Oh, she left. Okay, now we can look at her stuff. <laughs> All right. Violent trauma can be a great impact, can have a great impact on a child, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe, uh, defectives in such uh, some abilities such as trusting people near them seeing the world as peaceful place as a peaceful place 
making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting others or feeling, uh, not feeling the world is safe. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Uh, drawing of the brain, the frontal lobe, motor cortex, uh, sensory cortex, uh, partial lobe, optical lobe, and temporal lobe. Yeah, I'm, this is hearing, decision, and identity, uh, vision. Vision's back here. This is hearing. Vision, yeah. Because I've heard stories of, like, people that fall on the back of their, like, you know, they fall back and they hit the back of their head, and then they temporarily go blind. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what this, these three, uh, so, well, you know, motor controls. I'm not, probably fine and gross motors, so, like, detailed motors like your fingers to gross motors which is like moving your arms and legs bigger movements uh sensory so this might be smell um but this is definitely seeing hearing decision making and identification like uh, identifying you know self that's why frontal lobe lobotomies people become uh they don't uh they make rash decisions they don't the, some, in some cases, if not all, they don't feel fear anymore. And that's why they're a bit more risk-taking. Because they don't have that ability to judge and fear everything like that. Oh, dear lord. Doctor's handwriting. Okay, but it's about us. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink, uh, tr to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kind, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would wake, uh, would come out to play. Oh, okay. Well, this is, so that's the medicine. Uh, 8H. Okay. Oh, band-aids. I'll take these. You first aid kit. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need the code for that. A, a gun? Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Take it. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it like it was. I really need to get out of this place. All right. So eight. So it was hide. Uh, eight nine. Four five eight nine four five. Okay. Eight nine four five. Uh, use. Oh, no 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 no. Uh, it was this one. It was uh, eight nine. Oh, dang it. Four five. All right. Hey, my pills. The pills. Kitty told me to uh, that you would help me. Alrighty. So. People, please don't just take drugs willy-nilly, especially if they knocked you unconscious for three days. Um, yeah, the way that she's gonna start using them, she's popping pills like crazy, man, because we have to use them to get to the other world. Oh, Lord. Watch your step. Get out, creepy monster. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Hello? Um... What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Ugh. But strangely enough, we can interact with this other world. And like, if we flip back over, we still have the needle. So like, is, we don't, I don't know if this is real or not, man. Oh, the poor mouse. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Okay, so again, just doing that. Uh, but then she pops it again. <laughs> it was not me. Oh, hi. Oh, Lord. Oh, is that my head? <laughs> Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Oh, and there's a rabbit next to the toy. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. 
please, bunny, just wake up. Oh, at least it still plays the music. Who did it? Uh, nothing about the actual document has changed, but who did it? Blood. It's a monster with the top hat. Sad faces. Find him. Scary face. Blood coming out of the eyes. Decapitated cat! Oh, lord. Uh, oh, what's wrong with your face? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling me things. Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle and uncle is mad. Mad? Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Did you see it? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Oh, Lord. Hello? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Uh, you can see. At least you're still the same. Uh, okay, so let's... Let's pick the lock. It fits! But there are two holes. I need something else. Oh, uh, what about this? Almost, but it has another- Oh, I gotta combine them! Here we go. Uh, combine with that. There we go! Fantastic! I have my own special key. Use it on the door. Yes to happiness! What was that? That, that's my question too. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Okay. Alright. The maze. We never get to play there. Wow, tonight is- uh, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. Oh, okay. It was boarded up in the other world. Alright. Alright, so what's in here? Uh, hello? How do you get a toy box? Hmm, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. You got a nice rocking chair. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be as flat as your face. What? Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. The dresser is empty. This is one of those mute clowns. I've seen uh, so many that they all look sad. This one is very happy though. Good for him. The bed is very pink. Uh, oh. So, Adela? Seven. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event was created, has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Uh, Lord, okay. So she's hearing voices, auditory hallucinations. Dr. Marcel Dern, uh, Deren has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. So this was in March. Oh, hey. Hello. You see them, do you, right? Oh, uh, what? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You are supposed to have auditory hallucinations, not visual hallucinations. The shadows? Do you mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Do you know what they are? Yes, I guess. Please tell me. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. Yes, I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. All right, well, what are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Alright, it's time to pop some pills. Oh lord. Well, I found the dead clown. It's not doing so hot here. 
Now, I don't have a fear of clowns, but that was very unsettling. Maybe if I touch it, it'll jump out and scare me a lot. Hmm. All right, nothing happened. It must be dead. I don't want to touch it. The clown from the painting. Ugh. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innoc uh, innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, though the wounds are bleeding. Ugh. You can see. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Oh, wait, this is rocking. I can't interact with the chair. All right, it's time to leave this place. You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, burp. If you want to hug me, come and catch me. Burp, bip. You can't catch me because if you have, uh, because you haven't found me. Um, okay. What? This wasn't here before. I think this is the washroom. The, uh, the king likes drawings. Uh, okay. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Alright. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. Yeah, that's... I guess... I... I, I get... Why? Because you guys are at-risk children, so they want to keep an eye on you? But, like, really going poop? <laughs> Using the restroom? That's, like, your only privacy. Oh, what's up? Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. Uh, you left it open. But you left it open. Yes, lie. I sure it was not open. I know, because I locked it. How did you get out, then? How did you get out then, huh? It was open. Hmm. Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. I don't want to wait for him. I don't want to. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Alrighty, well... That's it for episode one! Yeah! We've already started getting into the real creepy stuff. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for future notifications. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!